Hey everybody, we are looking at our swing trades for Wednesday, April 27th. You can see ES futures now up 39. Yesterday was a massive day down. Let's go take a look at what happened over here. And uh, it was one of the uh, worst days in a long time actually for the S&P. Went down about 120 points. As you can see, big candle down right at the support levels here. So you can see a bounce happening today. But of course, we, are, we remain in uh, quite a... Uh, quite a volatile environment here and of course the VIX also climbed up yesterday. Let me see what the what the VIX uh, says here. VIX uh, should be I think close to about uh, I would say uh, close to about 30 or so. I don't know where it went. Yeah, right here. Yeah, 30. So it went up to 33 yesterday. So uh, that's quite a quite a big move there. But regardless, um, actually a lot of trades are, you know, are, are doing fantastic here. So if you go take a look, uh, Bank of America is 100% profit right here. Fast is doing well. Uh, gold, we've booked already 8,000. So we are only, you know, 1,700 to catch up. Uh, and Lockheed Martin also we have booked. Now uh, Netflix, look at this. This is fantastic. So we're going to close Netflix today. Uh, it's approaching max profit here. And this is a $3,500 profit. And SPX also. Yesterday it was close to uh, 3,500. Today it's given up about 875. Nonetheless, uh, good trade. 2650. Let's close it out. Let's close out SPX and Netflix. What I want to do is I want to adjust uh, Lockheed Martin and I want to protect FAS's uh, profit over here. So let's go take a look. The adjustments I want to do is uh, one is on FAS and I want to go to the 6th May and sell the 85 put. We've got the 85 long put. We're going to make it a calendar. No increase in margin. And let's try to get this trade in as quick uh, as quick as possible because FAST is going to move up a little bit. So uh, we won't be able to get 365, but at least try to get $3 or something like that. And Lockheed Martin is approaching uh, 450, 455, the short call. So what I want to do on Lockheed Martin is just move it over uh, and move it over to the 6th May. And so we are going to do the 460, 465. So uh, 6th May expiry, 460, 465. Let's close out this and we'll book this uh, $500 loss. Now, we've already booked some profit on um, on Lockheed Martin. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we booked 3,200. So I'm gonna take off 500 from there for today. And uh, let's book 2,700 and do this adjustment here. So those are the only two adjustments. We are closing Netflix, closing SPX. Uh, for the new trade, what I'm looking at is Microsoft. So you've heard probably uh, even tech is coming in uh, you know, somewhat mixed. Uh, Microsoft, however, has reported very well. And so we should try to get into this trade as quick as we can at the open. So uh, Microsoft is going to open around 283, 284. Uh, and we want to keep it a very small, uh, you know, a, a small spread uh, put here in the 6th May expiry, which is... Uh, nine days away, 282.5, 280. It's only a two and a half dollar spread, so we can increase the number of contracts. So uh, once again, this also let's try to get it in quickly, so that we can try to get the maximum premium here. That's the new trade for today. Okay, so let's try to do the overall numbers here. If you look at our spreadsheet, uh, we started this uh, spreadsheet in Jan, and uh, here we go. We are. Uh, so far at the end of April and uh, today's I have put uh, 2400 for SPX but it looks like it could be about 2800 as well so we'll uh, we'll finalize that figure and uh, I'm going to put about uh, 20 uh, 2600 here and uh, then uh, what we have is Netflix Netflix we've already booked 500 and today we're going to book another 3500 so here we go this is our uh, real numbers and you can see it comes up to 42,000 for the year, which is just these four months. And if you look at, you know, we know we have a capital of uh, 50,000. So uh, this is, but uh, you know, what we do have to do is uh, subtract the open uh, losses. So that is about 7,600. So let's say about 35,000 is the net profit for the year on a 50K account. So as you can imagine, that is a 70% return already in four months. So we're doing very well given especially what a tough challenging environment uh, these markets have been because right from the get-go, uh, you know, from the new years, uh, we've been having a uh, rocky market. And then of course, uh, from March onwards, uh, or Feb, uh, late Feb onwards, uh, the threat of war and uh, ultimately war also coming in. 
but uh, and markets have been seesawing like crazy but we are doing really well in this uh, so uh, and we'll continue to uh, we'll continue to try to do that so uh, this is as far as the swing signal service is concerned uh, we're doing about a 70% return roi uh, you know for the year already on a 50k account thanks